spinning with Navajo churro fiber is actually a lot like spinning with alpaca or llama or one of the other camelids. One of the reasons for that, it's an incredibly long, or it has an incredibly long staple length. So let's take a look at Navajo churro a little bit closer. It is considered a double-coated breed in the sense that it has an outer coat with longer guard hairs as well as a softer undercoat. The interesting thing about Navajo churro, unlike Merino or some of the other high lanolin breeds, Navajo churro does not have a lot of lanolin in it. It has a very low lanolin count, which also makes it a little bit easier for spinners to work with. I would encourage you, if you are a new spinner, this is probably a pretty good fiber to start with. And one of the reasons for that is, as you pull it out, you have a lot of time to work with the fiber itself. So just in terms of getting it going and spinning, you've got a lot of time to pull out. And as you can see, I'm twisting and spinning, and I still haven't run out of fiber yet. So I've got quite a bit of time. And as always, with any fiber, as you can see, just with that playing, it stays together really well. Navajo churro would also be another fiber that would be really good to work with as a single. I've got my drafting triangle right here. And as you can see, it takes a lot before those fibers pull out and come apart. So just playing with that very quickly, this is what I ended up with. And it is kind of a balanced fiber. Now I can certainly go back together or apply it back on itself and I end up with a very lofty woolen yarn. So that's one way too. And for those of you that are determining if you are in a situation where you can pull fiber out and sort of do a twist to see how easy it is for you to spin, that's also a really good gauge as to whether or not you're going to want to work with that fiber. So just playing with that a little bit that's what I ended up with. When you're working with a Navajo spindle, you have, just like with a great wheel or with any supported spindle, you're going to be spinning off the top. And you have a lot of top to work with here. And don't let that intimidate you. I know that a lot of times I've talked to people and they're very intimidated because there's so much space between the top and the bottom where you're essentially storing your fiber. Here's the thing. You don't have to store your fiber down here initially. You've got all of this space to work with, and I'll demonstrate what I mean. You do need some place to support. So even though this is a very long and it almost looks like a, a drop spindle, it is in a sense a supported spindle. And in this case, I'm going to use my trusty chest next to me to keep it supported. And what I'll be doing is the long draw method of pulling fibers out. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer. It's going to fall off my lap. So as you can see, my drafting triangle. And I'm putting the twist in just like I would with a support spindle. And then before I wind on, if I want to do that a couple times, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to store it up at the top right here. And then at any time, I can pull that off and wind on down at the bottom. So again, loosely holding the fiber, using my hip, this actually works a lot better if I'm outside and I've got some grass.
And if, when I'm looking at it, if there are any areas where I want to go back and make it a little bit thinner, I have that opportunity before I wind on. And then I will just get it started again. And I can tell I'm at a weird angle because it keeps wanting to migrate. And it's very humid here today, and I'm noticing the humidity. Even though this has a very low lanolin content to it, I can tell it is a little bit on the sticky side today, which is making it a little bit more of a challenge. And there you have it. So, and as I keep going with this, it reminds me a lot of working with a great wheel spindle as well. And then I just need to decide as I look at this and the consistency of it, I've got some areas that are a little bit thinner and a little bit thicker. Um, I'll have to take it off and take a look at it. I'm not sure if I'm going to apply this. I actually think I might be using this as a single in the project, and I've never done that before. So you'll have to stay tuned and see how that works out. So there you go. That would be spinning on a Navajo spindle.